everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a kind of a westerny kind of arrangement. Now I have this little boot container here for a floral arrangement. I had something in there before, we decided to take it out and I'm going to redo it. Now I wish I hadn't taken it out before and I had left it on there so you could see what it looked like before and what it's going to be looking like after. Now this is for my husband's office. He's got a whole new office so uh, he had this in there before and like I said we took everything off because everything was looking really old. It was aged and it did have some cotton uh, stems in there, little cotton balls in there and they had gotten really kind of you couldn't you know fix them so I told him just take it all off and you know ditch it which is what he did. So um, we went to buy some more items. So we went to Hobby Lobby and he picked all this out himself and of course he wanted more because he really loves these stems. So we got a brand new one and we got all our stems and bushes at 50% off this past week. So you want to look for sales. Okay, this one was $6.99 so we paid $3.50. A nice little stem. And then this one was $11.99. It's like lavender. It has a pretty, you know, kind of blue lavender color to it. This was regular $12. So we got it for $6. And then this small little tiny sunflowers because I thought oh a sunflower arrangement would re be really pretty right now and will go well in the new office that he has and so we decided to go for little tiny ones rather than the large ones because you know we want to make a small arrangement this was regular $7.99 we got it for four dollars okay also I had some greenery here already here at home it's just kind of a plasticky type of uh, greenery I don't know if I'm going to use it I'm going to use it in case I need to hide anything you know uh, but um, I really like it. It has a lavender tone to it, which goes really well with this uh, floral stem right there. So uh, I pull those out just in case. I have a ton of them. I don't see me using all of them, but I might. Now these are also reused from another arrangement that I had before, and uh, I redid that, so these were left over. So I'm going to repurpose them or reuse them. All right, so we're also going to need some styrofoam to put into our boot, the one that I was in the room, <laughs> got chucked out with the flowers. Uh, and we might need some moss just because we want to hide any styrofoam if it shows. Uh, but maybe the greenery will do its job and we don't have to do that. So that's just optional. Okay, so I've just got my regular tools. I've got my hot glue gun, glue sticks. I've got wire cutters to cut the flowers. And I've got some scissors just to maybe cut, you know, little tags. Uh, I'm going to use a little, sis a little knife, I'm sorry, to cut into the styrofoam to shape it to go in there. So it's really simple, very easy, nice little country style, western style boot right here. And uh, so let's get to crafting. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to put some styrofoam. So we want to prep our container. And here's my styrofoam block. This is the opening that I'm going to be putting it in. And of course, I can't completely fit it in because it's a little too big. So I'm going to shave off at the corners on each one around the uh, block here. So, just using some scissors, or sorry, a little knife. All right, so I've shaved up what I think is enough. It's better to cut less than what you think, because if you cut too much, then it's just going to fall right in. So you want to make sure that it is tight when you're going to put it in there. It is, and it needs to be shaved off a little bit more. So again, it's best to do this a little bit. Now, I'm time. just shaving from the half part downward, because I'm also thinking that I'm not going to use the entire length. I don't think I need to use it. All right, that's fitting in pretty good and nice and tight. Now, the reason that I said I was only doing half of it downward is because I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top half. And I think this will fit in there. And it does. So now what we want to do is we want to hot glue it. And there's some hot glue in there from the previous styrofoam. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to put more glue and fit that piece right in there. All right, so now that I've got it like that, it's fitting pretty good. What I'm going to do is now I'm just going to kind of shave it here on the top, just so that it's level right here. All right, so there we go. I've shaved it off enough where I feel like it is inside the container. And now we're going to go ahead and start putting our flowers in there. I'm going to be choosing this flower here to choose the height of my arrangement. So I'm going to cut it right from the middle, this big piece right here. Okay, and now I'm going to cut off some of these smaller stems off of it. Just cut them right off. So I only have this piece right here. Put those to the side. We're going to use this as our height. I don't want it to be too big of an arrangement. So I think 
right there is good. And I wanted to go into the styrofoam about an inch, so now I can, I can trim it right here. Now the reason that I trimmed it at the longest point is because I never know how long I'm gonna need it. So if you're gonna cut off everything off of bushes, do that first, and then you can trim them to size. So I'm cutting off this piece. A little bit of glue. I'm pushing it right in the middle. And this is our height. So now I wanna work everything at different levels. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of this blue, actually this little stems that I cut off right here. And I want to create a triangle here for my heights. So I'm gonna add this piece, a little bit of glue, push it in as far as I want, right there. I think that's good. Right there. I'm gonna put another one over here. And I'll use this stem right here. It. Yep, this will work. I don't have to trim anymore. Push it right in. Open up my stems so I'll know how much space they take. So here you see a triangle. So I want to see the triangle on this side as well. So let me grab this. Now this is a center piece and this is why I am doing my shape from this, from this angle and also from this angle. You want to have that shape all the way around so that creates your centerpiece shape you can look at it from above so you want to do that first and now you can go ahead and fill in with other flowers and greenery and you know continue with the height you know you don't want anything higher than what you already have in here you want these to kind of stick out all right so let's grab some of these I think I'm going to remove this greenery. This one I can actually push it up a little bit, so I'm going to push up that and that, and then kind of find like the height here. I think I want it about that high. This is going to go up here, right in here. So I'm going to give it an inch and trim. I can do the same thing. Now that I have this length, I can grab the next one and cut. I'm going to need four of these. So, so now we're going to insert it. Right here, 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 and here. So between each of these on the bottom here. But I don't want to put them right next to them on the line there. I want to go in a little bit. All right, these two are the same, so they'll go opposite of each other. These two are the same, so they'll go opposite of each other. I think actually I actually have to trim a little bit more. This one I cut a little too long. All right, start putting it in there. the placement right there a little bit further in there we go all right this one was just like it so I'll use it on the opposite end here I'm also going to trim that a little bit well quite a bit but still there we go just push it in so it's the same height as this one and everything is being put in at an angle okay I don't put anything straight in except for the one that went right in the middle this one right in the middle others you're gonna be kind of putting them at an angle so now I need one over here and then of course on the opposite Look how pretty side. that looks it's not too big it's not too overwhelming for the vase it looks really nice all right so now let's add in some of these cotton stems there's not very many so let me see how I'm going to put these oh, it's got this one long one if they feel like they can, they're going to fall apart, but they're not, so I'm going to cut them. All right. So I've got this one tall one. I think I'm going to remove that. Yeah, okay, there we go. Actually, this has got an extra stem in there we can take off. Okay. I'm going to put it so that you can see it like that, but I'm going to insert it kind of deep in there. So, just, I actually bent it, so let me straighten it up. There we go. At an angle, and then like that, so that you can see it within the flowers. Now, because I don't have too many of these stems, I'm only going to use 
you know, one more, and then do it on the opposite side of what I just did. So now that we have all those flowers, what we would do is we would fill it up with lots of greenery. But you know, this little stem here, or this bush, has all these little extra bits. And I think I want to go ahead and use some of them, if not all. So I'm just going to take it apart completely so I can see what I have. Look at all these nice little green stems. These are really cute. Yeah, I like this. Okay, let's go ahead and use that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this right where the cotton is, right next to it. So it'll be something to kind of hide the bottom stem of the cotton pick. And then I'll do one on the other side. And here's another one that's similar. It just doesn't have this little green bit. So we're going to have, go ahead and add that in. This is all tape that's coming apart. So we just take that off. We don't need it, all right? right next to that cotton. And then I'll use this stem, cut off a little bit off of it. Oh, didn't mean to use my scissors. I'll push that in there. When you can't get a stem to go into your styrofoam, because the styrofoam is pretty hard, and if you can't get the stem um, to push in, because, <coughs> excuse me, the little dust is getting to me. These little stems are really thin. Look at that water, it's really thin. They don't really have enough strength to push into something. So what you wanna do is, I'm gonna pull this one out. What you wanna do is you wanna take a piece of stem that you've cut off or wire or a little wooden stick. It's poke a little hole, create a little hole for it. Let's go ahead and cut this because I pushed it and I bent it out of shape. I'll put some more glue in there. And now we have a little hole to push that into. There we go. And we had no trouble because before when I was pushing it down, I was just bending it like that against the styrofoam. And then I ended up getting hot glue on the tips of my fingers. We don't want to do that. So that's a way to avoid um, that situation is to make a little hole and insert the uh, stem in there. And now I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> okay, well, I just did that. I was going to do another one, but that's, that was all. That's all we needed to do. Okay, so there we go. That looks really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just insert a few more of these here and there into our arrangement and then I can add some of that other greenery. All right, so you saw that I didn't need to put any moss. If I don't needed the moss, I would have put it in there first. Uh, but again, you could also come in later and add moss into the little spots. You know, just tuck it in here and there, a little drop of glue. All right, so now I'm going to take this greenery because I feel like these little bits are short enough and there will be enough to cover up, you know, the, the styrofoam. And if they're not, I'll get some of that moss tuck it in here and there. So I'm just going to start tucking in these pieces in there. And I'm seeing I'm having a little bit of trouble pushing these in, so I think I'm going to need to make little holes with uh, because this little bit here is very rubbery, but it doesn't feel like there's any wire in there. So there, it's not strong enough to push into the styrofoam. So I have to make little holes. And I just put the, the glue in the little hole <laughs> and then just insert that right there. Let me go ahead and do that for this one because it didn't go in well enough. Let's go ahead and make a little hole. Drop some glue in there. Strain that up. Let me actually let me trim it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now I'm just going to continue adding these so I can see that, uh, you know, my, my styrofoam is covered. All right, so I only have one more left, and I can see a little spot right here, right away in the front, where it's very obvious, the styrofoam, so I'm going to put it in. All right, so um, I've finished putting greenery, and I've hidden the styrofoam that you could obviously from the front here, the back, if I look through it. It's kind of hard to see the styrofoam. I mean, you'd have to get like right in there to see it. I could go in and tuck in some uh, moss, but all I really have to do is just kind of maneuver my flowers around, kind of move them, especially the greenery that I tucked down here in the center. Twist them here and there, move some leaves on the flowers, and that covers it. So I don't have to use any moss or any kind of a greenery moss or Spanish moss on it. I think it looks perfectly fine. And the arrangement is now 
So there we go. Okay, so here's my arrangement all completed. Give you a little look from the top there and the sides. I think it came out really nice. It goes really well with the uh, boot. It's a dark color here on the bottom, but then we brighten it up with these cheery colors on the top. Very springy, very summery, and even kind of fallish in a way. So I think it'll last a while there on his desk, on my husband's desk, probably a couple of years. Uh, but there we go. It is all done. I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below letting me know what you think of this arrangement. And uh, did you like the instructions? Uh, do you want me to continue uh, with more detailed instructions? Or, you know, let me know what you want to see. So for all of you who are enjoying my videos, thank you very much. If you've already subscribed, uh, thank you very much. But if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button down below. And then you'll see a little notification bell. Go ahead and hit that as well. I always choose all so that I get notified of all the videos as soon as they're uploaded. Uh, that's it everyone, I hope you have a super week and a nice weekend and enjoy.